Hey everybody, it's Bubs, and I will be reviewing the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation in the shade 555 Suede C. I have used the thick foundation of this line, and I loved it. And this foundation, I know, I know it's going to be great. This product was sent to me from Octoly by Lancome. This was gifted to me. This is not sponsored, but they did send this to me for an honest review. So I'm just going to go over the claims of this product. It claims to be an oil-free, long-wearing, natural matte foundation that creates a velvety smooth complexion for up to 24 hours. This foundation is available in 45 medium to full coverage blendable shades. And it claims to also maintain the skin's pH level so that the color stays put all day long without caking or creasing as you can see the foundation is liquidy it is running down my hands so it's not very thick at all i'm going to use a dense complexion brush from real techniques to blend this foundation over my face as you can see this foundation is a lot darker than my skin tone about one and a half shades darker maybe two shades darker but I actually like that it's darker for my skin tone because as you can see, my neck is a lot darker than my face. So this foundation works great at blending those two shades together. My neck is a lot darker just because that's how my neck is. I was born this way. It's not dirt. It's not a film. It's the way my neck is. It's hyperpigmentation. And I like that this foundation blends well with the lighter shade on my face and also the darker shade on my neck. So initially I was going to show you guys on camera me using this foundation with a brush and a sponge but I didn't do that I just used a brush the sponge works well but I like it with the brush because it applies more coverage I find that this foundation is definitely medium coverage so you can build it up to be full coverage but I really love how the medium coverage looks So this is how my face looks with one layer. I think I apply two pumps on my hand and this is about two pumps blended out. But after I finish the makeup look, everything just comes together. It looks really good on my skin. I really love the way it looks. There isn't a shine. It does dry down semi matte to me. And like I said before, it's medium to a buildable full coverage. And this is hours later. It's about 12 o'clock. I did apply that at about 8 o'clock. So it's been several hours later. And I do have creasing around my smile lines, which is inevitable. I have not found a foundation that does not crease in my smile lines. If you know any, let me know. But this does crease in my smile lines. I really don't mind that. But overall, my face looks phenomenal. It looks amazing. I still have coverage everywhere else. I do not have extra shine. It looks amazing on the skin. It looks so beautiful. The claims are definitely correct, especially saying that it's medium to a blendable full coverage. I can agree to that because it definitely does build up well and it doesn't look cakey on the skin. So I forgot to show you guys me wearing this all day. I did actually have this on for more than 12 hours because I put it on at 8 a.m. and I didn't take it off till like midnight i would say midnight or 1 a.m i had a really really long day and i'm telling you my face still looked amazing it still looked wonderful i have very dry and dehydrated skin and this worked for me just make sure you moisturize underneath and you should be fine let me know your thoughts down below will you be picking this foundation up have you tried it 
Also, let me know your thoughts on this video. Do you like a review? Should I do more? Yes or no? Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.